You're watching another supercharged masterclass with Jordan Samuel Fleming. Your opportunity to learn the ins and outs of podio design and development from one of the top podio partners in the world. Hey everybody, it's Jordan Fleming here with another supercharged masterclass. Now, one of the things that uh, I see sometimes in beginner podio builds, but oftentimes in more advanced ones as well is uh, a case where an app has a huge amount of fields in it, right? Generally speaking, I try to limit that. Um, I use relationships to link things together rather than have really long apps with a ton of fields in them. But there are definitely uh, use cases where long apps are called for, where a lot of fields and a lot of sections are called for. And then the question becomes, how do we best navigate around that? If you've looked into any videos before, you'll have lot, seen probably a lot of people use navigation links. So they have this field in the middle of their app and sometimes dispersed around their app where they have quick links to different sections. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that very easily. Let's dive into Podio. Okay, here we are in Podio. Uh, I'm gonna open up my properties app, which is quite a long app. If I scroll, you'll see that there are quite a few things. We've got sections on the property, on the seller motivation, on the financing, and the purchase officers, the contracts. We've got uh, finances and sequences and tasks and KPIs and all of these things. It leads to a very long app. So how do we deal with that? We can just scroll up and down like I just did, or we can build these little navigation fields in it. And what you'll see is in each of these sections, I have actually created another navigation so that when I go down to a section, I'm able to pop over to the next. So if I go down to task management, I will be able to also go back up to the top. I will be able to pop down to documents and contracts, and oh, there's my navigation again, and I can go to offer management. Hey, are you using Podio to manage your real estate investment business? Wait! <laughs> Click the link to find out why thousands of real estate investment professionals are using Podio Plus smartphone to make more calls, send more text, and close more deals. Click the link. So this is kind of a nice, easy way of doing it uh, to navigate around your longer apps. So how does that actually work? Well, I'm gonna open up the template and show you. So first of all, here we have one calculation field, which we call top navigation. We do this so that all the other navigation fields that are down below just reference this one. Now I will say that if, if calculations go haywire, like sometimes they do in Podio, or they've gotten a lot better, um, this cannot show up or take a while to show up. So there's the hazard there. But in general, these work pretty well. Um, all you do is very, very simple. It's the, there's basically three structures to this. At the very top, you have this var space links equals, but it doesn't have to be links by the way, but var space links uh, uh, equals open bracket, square bracket, um, open square bracket, close square bracket, and then a semicolon. And then you've got the var, the variables is what that stands for. Each variable in itself. And you can create as many of the variables as you want to display in links. Each one is the exact same format. You've got var for variable and the name of the variable, top, equals. And then you've got this here, which is, um, I will zoom in a little. So, um, each one of the variables has the exact same structure. Um, so a, um, you know what that is. <laughs> uh, and then uh, the uh, less than, and then ahref equals backslash equals, and then this here, HTTPS, Podio, assign force, com, blah, 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 all the way to items is simply the um, URL of this specific item, um, you know, so of the, the URL that you get in Podio. And then you do a plus, and then you do 
Uh, we use unique ID just because you need some sort of reference field. So this is an at and then you choose the unique ID plus and then you're putting in property ID and then plus backslash and then you got go to top and then slash A and then semicolon. So take this down, pause freeze frame and copy this down. Obviously the URL will have to be your own. I'll, I'll show you a bit, bit more about that. Okay, hands up who's using Podio for real estate and they don't want more leads. Nobody. You want more leads closed? Well, check out Smartphone for Podio, the only phone system fully built for Citrix Podio with a fully integrated power dialer and our amazing mobile apps. It means wherever you are, you can make more calls, log to Podio, send more texts, log to Podio, and close more deals, all logged to your Podio CRM. Click the link, check it out. Each one of these variables works the exact same way. So you've got the top thing, the var links equals, and then you've got the variables, and you can see all these are the same. And the only difference between all of them are what's involved in the hashtag. So you see here, property ID, field, field two, field three, and what you're calling it. Go to top, lead management, communication, etc. And then at the bottom, you put all these in place in the way you want to show them. So you see top, lead, comms, property, motivation, ARV, those are all the variables, right? Top, lead, comms, property, motivation, ARV, offers, etc. Those are all the variables. And what I've done is I've interspersed them with the pipe. So top plus, open quotes, space, pipe, space, so that I have some space in between them. Because whatever's in those quotes just show up exactly like that. And I put the, all those variables in play. So that's how you build one of these. And now let's just go through a bit more about what that means. So um, you note the uh, H, the HTTPS um, URL that we're using here. Um, as soon as this uh, saves and closes, um, that's basically just this here, up until the number four. It's this here, okay? That's that URL that you use. That's number one. The second thing is you had those hashtag bits, right? Well, to access those, you need to go to your app and you need to go to the developer section and you need to go and you need to scroll all the way down to your different fields, app fields. And in each of these app fields, you'll see an external ID. See that property ID is there? Field, field two. Field three, navigation two, all those things. These are the IDs you need. And it's these IDs that you're gonna use and put in those hashtags. And by doing that, what you get is a display. And if you, a display of each of these, and you see down here at the bottom, uh, at the bottom of my screen, there's a URL, and you see that there's the hashtag field. If I go to the next one, it should be field two, field three, field four, Etc. So it's basically just like you would in a web page. You're basically identifying the um, different points on the page you want and you're hyperlinking to them. Are you using Podio with CallRail? <laughs> There's a better way. Click the link to find out why hundreds of businesses have moved over to using smartphone, the only phone system built for Podio. Make more calls, send more texts, and close more deals. Click the link. Now the second thing we do in this is we only do this in the top nav and in the secondary nav, all the bottom ones, what I do is I simply at top navigation and then I put a semicolon. So I'm essentially looking for that top navigation and displaying it here. Um, that gets you everything you need to be able to have a top nav and then all those future navs that are displayed, all referencing that top nav. It's a very simple thing to do. Um, do rewind this video, go back and copy it. You do need to make sure you get your own URL and all that. And um, But it's a really useful way of creating a way of navigating longer apps and give your staff a way of quickly seeing the sections they need to care about. It's the other part of this. It's not just about navigating a long app without scrolling. It's about identifying the sections and going straight to them where the data that is relevant to that section is kept. So agree, disagree, 
pop over to YouTube, give me a comment on YouTube. Want something you want me to review? If there's something you want me to talk about, review, etc., drop me a line uh, inside of the YouTube comments. I'll answer back if you disagree or agree with anything I am saying comment as well. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on YouTube to be notified for any of the videos that get uploaded. And of course, check out the Supercharged Podcast, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, anywhere podcasts are. Uh, give it a like, give it a review, give it a rating, share the love. It's the best way of helping spread the gospel of Podio. And of course, if you are using Podio, there's a link in this video and a link all across wearegamechangers.com to try out smartphone if you're using Podio as your CRM, you simply need to be using smartphone. Having your phone system and your CRM combined is absolute magic. If you're not doing that, you are not leveraging the power of real CRM. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching this Supercharged Masterclass with Jordan Samuel Fleming, CEO of Smartphone. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel to be notified of new podcast episodes, Podio Masterclasses, and in-depth Podio Extension Reviews.